Hi, I'm David Caraccio with the Sacramento Bee, and we're at 2101 28th Street in Sacramento, California. We have a place to show you that's on the market for $1.89 million. It has two bedrooms, 2.5 bathrooms, and it spans about 4,700 square feet. You're gonna be amazed at the way this former warehouse built in 1937 has been upgraded, remodeled, and how it unfolds. So let's go inside and check it out. So we stepped inside this gorgeous loft style warehouse building that's been transformed. I'm with the owner, Ted Ross. Yeah. Thank you for bringing us through here. Thanks for coming in. You bet. And this place has some kind of history. I want to start with the Jewel Tea Company. 1937 is when they built the building, yeah. which was the Sacramento headquarters for Jewel Tea and Coffee Company. It's overall about 5,600 square feet. So that was all their warehouse space. We always wanted to live in a warehouse lofty kind of space. And there wasn't much of that going on in Sacramento back right. in 1999. So outside we introduce you to the place and we walk through this gorgeous Zen-like vestibule to enter the home. Tell me about that. Yeah, so another water feature out there and that kind of gives it the Zen mm -hmm feel and then lots of greenery, you know, all the palm trees and yeah. they've gotten just bigger and bigger over the years. They seem to thrive out there. So yeah, it's a beautiful entry. And so when people come in, they go, wow. We are standing in front of the living room, very comfortable place. Love uh -huh. the fireplace, two-way fireplace and an industrial ceiling, which kind of tells you that this was a warehouse and I like the way you kept it that way. And you've angled things in here marvelously and, and I think the ceiling gives some of that contour as well. We set it up for entertaining, which is kind of cool. You know, it works really nice for having big parties here and it's an open space. We do angles to the walls and we did some elevation right. stuff so that it doesn't look like just a box. Yeah, which leads me to the dining room. You've elevated sort of like a stage and I think it's been used as a stage. It has been. Really, that's the spot that whenever we do an event here, the politician stands up on the stage and talks out to the whole crowd. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, that's what yeah. it's used for. Uh, how many people can you handle in here? You know, comfortable probably about 75 people, but we've done more. <laughs> yeah. And then we have a elevated study that you do your work in. Yeah, pretty good sized study, <laughs> which also has three original windows from 1937. So we get a lot of light up in the study, but it's elevated off the ground. So then there's all the storage underneath. So it works out nice. Mm -hmm. Off the study is the guest room. Tell us about that room. We have a guest suite that has an end suite bathroom, jacuzzi tub, and very comfortable. We can literally be on different sides. You know, we have the north and the south side, and you don't even know that you, you have guests over there. And then the master bedroom, a sizable, expansive area, again, ensuite. Yeah, and we ended up kind of doing the same thing that we did in the kitchen and built up a deck for the bed. Mm -hmm. So it kind of sits up on its own stand. And we have the French doors that go out to the atrium yeah. right off of the master yeah, bed. Yeah, fantastic. Coffee, whatever you want out there. Parking is a premium. You have such a big garage that you even have a workspace in there. That must come in handy. A four car garage, would you call it? Yeah, if you do tandem, you can get four cars in there easily. And that's very, very unique for Midtown Sacramento. Exactly. As you can imagine, we have 4,300 square feet to play in, which means remodel in. <laughs> and so I'm always doing a project. And so to have a workbench is, is really great. So we're sitting in the gorgeous uh, chef's kitchen with Eric Jensen. He's a nutritionist by, by study and, and a foodie. So I thought it was appropriate. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. What do you like as you're preparing? Well, part of it was we wanted a lot of space for production. And that way we had big events. We had space to prepare everything. 
Then we also decided we wanted two dishwashers, gas stove, of course, and then we put in a combo microwave convection oven. We can do anything in that. And so again, we wanted this so that for events and for gatherings with friends that we'd have a great place to serve them from. Aesthetically, I like the round sinks. Yes. Those are nice and the brick wall. I don't think it was this gorgeous when you... No, it had been covered over, some areas painted, some, some plaster on it. So we decided to have it all sandblasted down to the original brick again, and it was totally worth it. Yeah, so. something you have to keep, and it runs 75 feet, exactly. and shares it with... With the, our master bedroom and the yeah. bathroom. So yeah. yeah, and then again, the skylight. So if you're in the master bath and you know, with the shower, you can have this beautiful sunlight coming in for yeah. you, so... Yeah. One of the themes you have a lot is the martini theme. <laughs> yeah. And you have this beautiful wall of martini yeah. glasses. Yeah, we designed this so that when we were having the events that we had a nice place to store them when not in use so that it became like an art decoration for the house. So yeah. Political town, martini yeah. makes sense. <laughs> uh, you can do a lot with them. You can be very versatile with them. Exactly. And I know you have too. Yeah. <laughs> From inside, we've now come to the outdoor atrium, and I love this place. This was a, a room, an enclosed room. What'd you do to open it up and make it this wonderful sitting spot? Yeah, we left the joists up and we added a fans, which run basically all year long. We blew the ceiling off, the sun can come through. We have a couple of sail shades up, mm -hmm. and it makes her very comfortable area. Yeah. I have to point out that it comes off the living room and also off the master bedroom. Great flow. I imagine you step out here first thing in the morning sometimes. You mentioned the gate or the fence out here. You know, it was done by an artist and he just did a great job of it. Yeah, so, so you know, if you have pets here, it's like a dog run right here? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. There's a full eight feet between the gate and the fence. <laughs> and that goes the whole 75 feet of the house. So yeah, plenty of room for dogs to roam around. A fountain, we talked about Paragary's. I think this looks familiar. Let's go check this out. We talked to Randy uh, early on and said, we think we want to steal your idea <laughs> for those fountains you have. We're going to turn it upside down a little bit. He said, go for it. Yeah, yeah, wonderful. Yeah. I like it, and I like the uh, connotation that it gives. I want to thank Ted Ross thank you. and Eric Jensen for thank taking you. us through their marvelous home. You won't find another home like this anywhere in the city. So I really appreciated the tour. Thank you.